so hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are going to again learn something more in flutter so basically what we are going to do is we are going to learn about the markdowns okay so without wasting any time let's just dive right into our code what is markdown so firstly let me show you what is markdown um, if you know have worked in the html okay uh, so you will always be knowing about the pre tag okay that is if we want to pre format a text or pre format anything then we need a pre tag in our website uh, in our html okay so this is to somewhat same thing in our project okay flutter project that is if we want to have a pre tag in our project pre formatted thing in our project so we will use the uh, markdowns okay so without wasting any time let's just dive right into our code and we will see the output of our project um, with our coding okay so firstly i what i have done you have seen that i have just imported a dependency this is the dependency flutter markdown underscore markdown this is the dependency version okay just match the dependency version which suits your uh, dependency uh, suits your time at the time of coding i, I have this uh, version but it can be different for you okay so let's just dive right into our code and let's make just code okay so firstly we will just import the material uh, dot dart package come on yeah and after that what we will do we will just import the markdown okay markdown mm, markdown yeah okay now we will just do the void main and after that run app and here name will be what am i typing okay after that we will have a stateless widget and its name will be my app ok so this will be converted to material app material app ok and here obviously we will give it as a false then we will give the title come on title to so the title will be um, what we can give the title flutter mark downs okay and then after that we can give it a theme okay let it be i'm not gonna give the theme let it be the default version okay and after that we will give it a home like home or index let it be okay so now what we'll do we will just the stateful widget and its name will be index okay we all know that so now i will convert this container to a scaffold come on yeah scaffold and in that scaffold we will give a app bar app bar it's uh, so firstly we will give a title to title will be the text and its name will be flutter mark down okay let the center title be true come on where am i typing true T R U E. okay okay yeah and after this scaffold what we will do we will just go for the body okay so here comes the part of our um, main code so in the body what we'll do we want the page to be pre-formatted or pre want to have a pre-formatted text okay we can only do this in the text part also only so what we'll do we will just use the markdown uh, markdown with markdown yeah okay so you can see that it asks for padding key data and all the type of things okay so what we will do here um, we will firstly set the data okay mm, and uh, then mm, okay so for what we have to do we have to create a data so data okay come on not this let me give it a uh, what we can say yeah mark down data down data okay so mm, this data will always be a 
okay let us see what it will be okay so you can see that this data is always a string okay so we have to create this data as a string okay so what we will do we will just go outside our um, class okay let us come outside our class and we will just create a string uh, const string and we will just give the same name here okay now what we will do like in our string okay like in our string we give um, double quotes okay so now what we will do we will give three quotes and after again yeah so this is done okay and one two one more last yeah so now everything we will type in between here okay so for having a header in our project what we will do we will start with the hashtag okay so like and give this is a header okay and after that we will put enter then the line will be changed to entered okay line will change so we will can give a line here there this is new line okay now what we want to do we want to have a um, heading subheading okay so we can give two uh, hashtag so this is sub sorry sub heading okay okay and now what we want to do we want to have some text in italics so we will give a single stroke single underscore and this is okay let me show you like this this is italics okay this done and now we'll give two thing two underscore and we will just set it this is bold okay come on wait is yeah okay yeah so this is bold and now uh, we did with two now what we want is that um, or we can you yeah it, this is too much okay now what we want is that a uh, bulleted list okay so if we want to have a bulleted list we can just use a uh, hyphen okay so for hyphen just it will show you bulleted list one okay let me just copy it paste so that we can have see it two three times two and after that we'll just give it as three okay so now it's done okay um in the same way we can use the images also okay so we can show the images also here just by calling the um, http okay let me just uh, show that yeah https okay and now we want to do is www.google.com okay so it's done i think so okay so we will just give uh, what you can say this is one more thing okay so we can just give it like like this the link is here okay. and now at last yeah this is too much okay now what we'll do uh, yeah so if this uh, works okay so it will just show these things as we have done so we have one more thing here sorry we have one more thing that is on tap link okay if we tap any link that is if we, if we tap this link what it should do okay do process okay so this is a new function that i have created 
so I will create it here void do process this done okay so now what we will do as it is a process that load asynchronously so we will just call it async yeah and now what we will do if this uh, what you can say this link okay the link which we are passing so let me just give it in href okay if await and can come on come on if can go oh, one second we are doing something wrong here we should keep it inside this if can launch okay so why it is not showing us the okay okay so one thing i think you are a launcher okay so we don't have we haven't imported the url launchers okay let it be i will talk about that in the next video so i got the topic for my next video so now what we will do um, we can can we launch uh, no so is my wifi connected yeah so we can get the pubsec dot url for url launcher okay so once again let me go here and can we just type the url launcher okay so can we just get it let me see okay i think so if it gets then you will directly yeah it is good it is good okay <laughs> So now what we will do if await yes, but for that we have to just import okay why it is not showing url mm -hmm. okay let me just So it ask for the dependency okay so let us just wait for it to just build or drive the dependency okay so it's done now so now what we'll see is it will let me just search for the url launcher now yeah it's now available so now what we'll do we'll just go down okay and we can just see can we launch can launch okay yeah url so href because we have this url okay <coughs> sorry and now what we will do we will just have to launch the um, yeah launch the href we have to launch the website uh, link okay so this is done else if anything happens okay if any error happens or anything happens so just print error okay so i think it's done so let me just to go to my let me connect my phone to my laptop so that we can just see what the output comes okay okay so let me just open my developer option where is my developer option yeah this is one second guys wr 
टीम ओके या ओके सो या माय डेवलपर ऑप्शन इज नाउ रेडी सो लेट मी जस्ट कनेक्ट माय फोन ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट माय डिवाइस हैज बीन कनेक्टेड सो लेट मी जस्ट सी द आउटपुट so my device has now be connected and I, I have clicked the run button so now within few seconds it will resolve all the dependency and it will build the apk in my phone okay and after, after installing we will see the output in this screen okay so um, just tell me guys how you like the um, this was one of the feature that flutter is providing us but i literally i don't like the markdown okay but this will help us when we have a pre-formatted text and we have to just show it as it is on our screen then we can use that but without that we know that we have lots of widgets provided with us so we can directly use them just to show our projects but talking about the bullet points and each and everything we can't use them so here this uh, uh, markdown or this plugin help us okay so this is to some point very good for us okay so and yeah guys just uh, play with this code okay and make your own version of the code and just uh, post your um, screenshots on our facebook page the link of my facebook page will be in the description below you can just go click there and meet me and post your things there okay i am feeling a little bit sleepy why do i don't know why okay as if it's 10 you can see the time here okay so we will meet up after the application or the apk has been built So you can see that the APK has been built and it's now installing the APK in my phone. So within few seconds you can see the APK or sorry the result of our program in this screen that you can see in the right hand corner. Okay. So let's just wait for our APK to just install in my phone and um, after that we'll just sync for the other debugging process. So let's just mm, wait guys okay come on my phone is full with the materials so it's not showing the phone storage <laughs> just leave it so yeah it's not installed and it will just show up within few seconds come on firstly it will just say yeah this is the white screen Come on, come on, I don't have, we don't have time, come on, show up the result. Yeah, Flutter is taking longer than expected to report its views, still trying, let's be. So, come on, let's see the output.